Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got another quick product review today. Uh, this time I got the King Bolin BM550 battery tester or battery analyzer. You can see we can test 6 volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt uh, batteries with this tool. You can get this on Amazon right now for about $20.99, uh, which is pretty cheap. It's just a nice little tool to have in your toolbox or just to keep around the house. In case your car's not starting, you can go ahead and measure your battery and uh, see if it just needs to be jumped or if it needs to be replaced. So if I flip it over here real quick, um, you can see you got instructions back here. So you know, step one, connect the battery. Of course, positive is gonna be red, negative to the black. And then you'll select your battery type, whether you got a six volt, 12 volt, 24 volt. And then step three, you're gonna enter the cold cranking amps. Whatever that is, it should say on your battery. And then uh, step four is gonna show your test results. Uh, so pretty simple to use, looks like, uh, not much to it. Then you give a little tips here. Of course, check mark's gonna be good. Exclamation mark's gonna be normal. And then if you got an X, it's gonna be uh, poor and the uh, battery may need to be replaced. So let's go ahead and uh, just open this up real quick here. Pretty simple packaging. I'll try to keep this package and keep it in it just to protect it. You can see just a little, little handheld held tool here. Uh, comes with a little screen protector they got on there. And uh, of course here's your alligator clips for your positive and then of course your negative. So we'll go ahead and uh, try this on a couple vehicles here. Uh, I got one with a good battery and then I also got another car that's been sitting a while and uh, it won't start. So it's gonna need a jump, but we'll see what it says for uh, that vehicle as well. So the first car I'll try this on is my uh, little 2011 Ford Fiesta. So now let's go ahead and hook it up. So again, black's gonna go to your negative here. And then of course your red goes to your positive. And you can see as soon as you hook that up, it turns on and you can see 12 volt is flashing. So it recognizes the uh, battery on here. So then you go ahead and hit okay. And it's asking for your cold cranking amps. So like I said, that'll be located somewhere on your battery. Uh, you got your cold cranking amps, but then you also got your cranking amps. So the cold cranking amps on this one is gonna be 590. So go ahead and take this up to 590 using the arrows, and then hit okay. And it takes a minute here for it to measure it, I'm assuming. And you can see 443 right now is what it's sitting at, cold cranking amps. And you can see the exclamation mark down there saying that it's uh, normal. So this battery is fine. I'm not sure how old it is, but uh, it's showing everything is normal in here. So let's go ahead and uh, try another vehicle here. Okay, so the next vehicle I'm going to try this on is a 2018 Subaru WRX. Okay, so this car is uh, my daughter's boyfriend's car, and he's off in uh, basic training for the Army right now. So this car has been sitting at my house for a few weeks here, and I haven't had time to start it. And I'll just show you real quick here. So if I go to start it, you can see nothing happens. Uh, so I'm assuming it's low on charge, the battery. So I'm curious to see what the battery tester says on this car. All right, so we'll go ahead and do the same thing to this battery. But as you can see, there's no red or black. Um, so it's a perfect example. But as you can see, there is the positive logo there. So just look for that. And uh, it did say on the package for this, it does have reverse polarity protection. So if you do end up hooking it up backwards, uh, it shouldn't affect the tool, which is nice. So we'll go uh, black on negative here and our red on positive. You can see, turned right on, recognizes the 12 volt battery, cold cranking amps right here, 470. Bring that down. Let it read it. And yeah, as you can see, there's only 40 cool cranking amps and it's showing the X for poor. Uh, the only thing I wish it did say was that it's uh, just low on cranking amps and needs, that's a good battery and just needs to be recharged, but it doesn't say that. It just says uh, 40 cool cranking amps and that it's a poor battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump start this I'll let it charge up and then we'll retest it just to make sure it's a good battery 
So I went ahead and jumped it, took it for a little drive here. Now let's go ahead and see what it's measuring at. And as you can see, climbed up to 355 cold cranking amps, and now we got the exclamation mark showing that it's normal. So this is a good battery still. So that's going to wrap up the video. Again, this was a King Boland BM550 battery analyzer tool. And I'm really impressed by this little tool here. I mean, yeah, you can go to, you know, the local chain parts stores. They'll check your battery for free or even Walmart. But for this being uh, right at $21 on Amazon right now, you can't beat that price. This is just nice to have in your toolbox or even in your glove box. If you ever run into an issue where your car won't start and you believe it's your battery, you can just pull this out and test your battery really quick. And I'll have a link in the description uh, so you can check this tool out on Amazon if you decide to get it. And if you haven't already, check out all my other videos. And I appreciate you watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.